In order to register the admin app, we need to go back to our editor. In my case, I'm using Visual Studio Code. There's an application that was created, theta underscore app. Look at theta underscore apps. There is a file called admin.py. Select admin.py. You can see that there's a nice comment that comes pre-written for you to indicate that you should register your models here. The models are registered in this file called models.py. So let's first edit models.py and then we'll come back to admin.py and register the model that we just created. The syntax is straightforward. It's a Python class. So let's go class. It's the, it's the name of the class. So let's call ours maybe theta for the theta image or let's see maybe theta image models dot model colon. We need to create a variable. I'll just call it image. Because we're loading up the images and some text into the database, we have to use the models fields. So one of the fields that's predefined in Django is the image field, and the other one is the character field. So this is actually in the Django documentation. If you go to the Google, or you can actually just go to the DjangoProject.com reference, and you're wondering what the model fields are. If you type Django model fields, there's going to be a ton of documentation that comes up. And you could see all the fields, character field, date field, it goes on. Uh, there's quite a bit. You don't need to memorize it. You can just reference the documentation. I think the main point is to realize that there are these different fields. So when you import the models, you can now access the fields. For a gallery database, the most important field is probably this image field. And then secondarily, a character field, because you'll probably want to put a little title on the, on the name of the image. And maybe there is a short summary of what the image was. Um, how it was taken, or maybe some settings that you used on the image. Maybe we could make this one a little longer. 